So you want to get into FPV drones, but you're not really sure where to start or what to get. It's very confusing out there. There's a lot of products, a lot of different types of drones you can start out with, radios, goggles. And if you're just starting out, you don't know what to get. It can be very confusing. I know there's a lot of videos out there and a lot of different opinions on uh, what you should start out with and how, you know, what kind of products you should buy and how to get started. Now, I think Emacs has made this process a lot easier. You now have this uh, new product here in this box here. Actually, it's a nice little case. This is the new Tiny Hawk Ready to Fly kit. Comes with everything you need to get started with FPV drones. And I think this is going to be uh, one of the safest options because you're not going to be able, really not going to be going to be hurting anybody. You can crash this a lot, and it's very safe. It's a good way to get started, and it mimics the real FPV experience uh, in terms of like well real as in the larger five inch drones that everyone out there is flying and it, that's probably what you probably saw and got your interest in FPV drones. This is a kit that is all self-contained here. Here's everything you need. You don't have to buy anything else. Very low cost, very, very uh, inexpensive and will give you a very good experience right from the beginning. And then of course, at, after you've mastered flying, you can move on from these beginner starter kit type of equipment here, but this will definitely get you started for a very low cost. Let's uh, open this up and I'll show you what's inside and how to put it together and how to go fly. Okay, so what you get in here is really impressive. You get everything you need um, and, and for the cost, it's really impressive. It's like $165, I believe, retail, uh, most places. And you get your goggles, you get your controller, and you get the drone and battery and of course batteries for everything. So you're gonna open it up here. And Got your goggles here, you got some instructions, and the instructions are very good. Uh, most beginners should be able to follow along here. I'm not gonna actually go over the instructions. It's got a nice table of contents, and it's fairly self-explanatory, but I'll, I'll go over the, uh, the basics to at least get this flying. Uh, of course, there's a few things in here that's included, like how to change your channels on your video transmitter, for example. Uh, you do need to follow the instructions for that. However, everything comes all connected together. So the, the drone is already bound to the controller and the video transmitter is already transmitting on the receiver channel that's on the goggles. So there's really nothing that you need to do in terms of setup. It's already set up, all ready to go. It's already tuned and it actually comes with three different modes. Um, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced mode basically. So as you start out, you can start off obviously beginner mode and then move your way up as your skills improve. Okay, so you can see here you got your drone, you got your controller, you got a set of goggles here. These are your kind of basic um, box style goggles with the head strap and some buttons for controlling the receiver. And then it comes with this battery that's in the back. A little plug that will plug in right here. And when you plug it in, the goggles will turn on. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this battery is pretty cool. It, uh, it's just a one cell, 2200 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion uh, battery pack. It is an 18650 battery in here. It just charges via a micro USB cable and that little micro USB cable is included. And then the 18650 is actually inside here. And when that dies, whenever it runs out, or uh, eventually, and not, not, not right away, but at some point, you can easily replace that, and these are not that expensive. Uh, there's a micro USB cable included to charge that battery, and you get a charger, a uh, little charger here, a USB charger for the battery that's on the drone. It's the 450 milliamp hour. This is the one battery that's included. I uh, wish that they included more batteries. Uh, a lot of these sort of kits, they do come with at least three. There's only one in this one. Hopefully they'll change that in the future. But this is the, the battery, or this is the charger that you'll use. You plug it into the bigger plug here, not the smaller one. And of course you can adjust your amp values here, but I think you can just, it's all plug and play. Plug it into some sort of a USB power source, computer, uh, phone, cell phone charger brick, and then uh, plug in your battery and charge it up. It shouldn't take that long. Also forgot to mention that there's a uh, quick getting starting guide here. It just basically shows you uh, where all the components are, how to charge up the battery, and then the controller, and I'll actually go over that as well, and then it has a little uh, guide here on how to fly, uh, how to use the sticks. I'll also show you that here in a second as well. So there's the controller that you get. 
It's a very basic controller. Uh, it'll be very usable for this tiny drone. No, not a problem with that. Uh, it has an antenna you can move up and down like here. You have uh, two switches here that you're going to need to know how to use. Um, you're going to want these in the what's called the down position or pointing down. They can move up and down like this. And the one that's going to be, so if you're holding the controller like this, the one that's on the left side here is going to be your arming switch. So in the down position, like this is basically disarmed. Um, and then when you move it to the middle position, it'll, it's a, it'll cause the motors to beep. It's a beeper. And then the up position is arming, and that will actually uh, spin the motors. I'll demonstrate that here. And then on this side here is your different modes. So there's the down position is beginner mode. Middle is intermediate, and the top position is advanced mode. Okay, and uh, the, the controller here just charges via a micro USB port here as well. And so it's very easy to charge. And there's also an 18650 battery inside here, and you could just uh, unscrew the screw here to take off the cover, and if you want to swap out that battery, you can do that. So pretty basic controller. Everything works great. So uh, this is a mode 2 setup here. Um, basically you have your throttle on the left here, and it's basically throttle up and down, and your yaw is left and right like this. And then on this side you have your roll, which is left and right, and then your pitch is going to be up and down like that. That's how basic controls for the drone. You've got some trim buttons here, probably don't need to use those. And then the uh, on-off switches here, you just basically press and hold for two seconds. You get a beep, a green light, and then you know you're on. Okay, so to go and fly, it's very, very easy. Uh, first thing, I'll we'll turn on the controller. Get a green light, and you want to plug in the drone. So the battery here just slides in below like this, pretty simple. And then you want to line up the battery like this. Basically, you want the red and the red to be together, not the other way around. This plug is um, keyed, so you, you shouldn't be able to put it in backwards. But if you do, then that will probably destroy the, the drone. So don't do that. Don't don't force it. it. Should go in like this. You hear some beeps and some lights. And I'm going to set it down on a level surface like so. That will then initialize. And then you want to plug in your goggles. Plug in the plug here. There's a fan in this goggle, so you hear the fan come on. And then we should be able to see an image from the drone. Like so. You see I'm moving the drone back and forth. And you can see the controller there. Now the go these goggles here are, you know, your basic uh, box goggles. Pretty decent image. Uh, it does have adjustable focus on the side here, so you can move the the, the lens that's on the inside here uh, forward and backwards. So let's, let's see. I'm not sure if this will show up on the camera or not, but it's all the way back right now, and then we can move it forward. And you see the lens there sliding forward. Though. You can adjust your uh, focus for your eyes there, and you can move all the way back. It does have a pretty nice cutout for most larger noses, although a little bit of light does leak through. And the padding here is very, very nice, so no complaints about the padding. Uh, I'll have to see how it handles sweat. There is a fan here, of course, to keep the screen from fogging up as well, so all pretty good. Um, now, at some point later on, if you do want to change your bands and channels, uh, you have uh, buttons here for channel and frequency. So frequency, I think, is uh, well. I think that's bands, and this is channels. And then over here on this side, you have your menu and an A button. I'm not sure what that's for. Let's see. Okay, so the, the A button is an auto scan button. So it's going to then scan the frequency band and try and find. Uh, the channel that's being transmitted. So if you change your channel and don't know what it is, then you can use this to find the frequency. Okay, and then the uh, M button here is your menu button. You bring that up and it'll bring up the menu for the goggles. And here you can adjust brightness, contrast, uh, saturation, and the language. And then you're going to use the buttons over here to adjust the values up and down. That's pretty much it's pretty basic for the goggles, not a whole lot uh, in terms of functionality. You get um, two uh, dipole antennas here, you can adjust those. And these are removable if you want to upgrade those antennas later. 
And this looks, uh, these are just standard SMA uh, antennas. Now, as mentioned earlier, if you want to arm the drone, you're going to use the switch over here, and then that will spin up the props. So if you just go to the middle position, the motors will beep. That's the beeper. Oh, if you go all the way up, the motors will start spinning, and then you can obviously go and fly it. So that's pretty much it to get it going. Uh, it's very, very easy. Everything is all hooked up together already. No, really no setup to do it whatsoever. So you just have to plug in some stuff, turn things on, and you can go and fly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the flight demo for this. I haven't actually flown this yet, so what you're going to see is my first impressions flying this with this complete setup here uh, for the first time. Okay, so I'm going to start off in uh, beginner mode, um, and I'll maybe try a little bit of intermediate. See how this flies. I've not, I haven't flown this yet, so I have no idea how it's going to fly. So it does seem very controllable. You can bump into some stuff here. It's very docile, so it's a, uh, the rates are much slower than I'm used to. But I think it'll be good for a beginner. But not anything that I can't get used to, just a little bit of practice. It's my first time flying this. I guess that's another way of going through the hoops there. Do backwards. I think it's going to take a little bit of practice to get used to the controller and the way that they've adjusted these rates, but you can also adjust these later if you want to have a different set of rates. Let's try intermediate mode now. Okay, so I'm going to try intermediate mode now and uh, try this little switch over here to switch into intermediate mode and hear a beep. And let's go ahead and fly. So definitely more control now. Much faster. This is much, much faster. Whoa! So intermediate mode is definitely going to require a little bit more skill. You got to be a little bit more controlled as well. I think my battery is supposed to run out as well. Yeah, the battery is definitely dead. Yeah, so overall I think it's definitely uh, going to be easy for beginners to fly with this equipment. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice and you can see I just flew one battery here. It didn't take very long for me to hit these gates. Uh, and I'm totally not used to the setup at all. I think if I, you know, Flew a few more batteries, I think we get pretty proficient in this, and so I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it would look like for a first timer. I think, you know, this gives you a pretty good idea. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.